In this video, we will be discussing about the leukocyte extravasation, which involves the migration of leukocytes out of blood vessels. In simple terms, it is the movement of leukocytes out of circulatory system towards the site of tissue damage or infection. The leukocyte extravasation is driven through many different steps, which we are going to explain now. The first step is the chemoattraction. The second step is the margination and rolling addition. Then we have the third step that is tight addition and binding. And finally we have the last step which is the transmigration of leukocytes that also involves the diapedesis. Before getting into the mechanism part, let's have a quick look on these steps. First is the chemoattraction. It's when there is tissue damage or any presence of pathogen that time immune system is triggered which involves the releasing of many different molecules in the form of cytokinase like chemokinase that mediates the chemoattraction. Second step is the margination and rolling addition. Here the leukocytes move towards the margins of blood vessel and rolls down on endothelium. Then in the tight addition step, the leukocytes establish binding with cell addition molecules of endothelium. And in the last step, there is transmigration of leukocytes. These leukocytes pass through the endothelium membrane or blood vessel towards the target site. Now let's see this mechanism in detail. First of all, we can see the blood vessel. Here in this diagram, we can see the endothelial cells that forms the endothelium membrane. It is this barrier which leukocytes has to pass. On these endothelial cells, we have different types of cell addition molecules, like we have P-selectin, E-selectin, L-selectin. Then there is ICAM-1, CD31 and many more molecules. But it must be noted that all addition molecules are not continuously expressed on endothelial cells. Rather, it is due to the presence of cytokinase, which induces the expression of addition molecules. So it's at the onset of injury or damage or presence of pathogen as we can see in the diagram that induces the expression of these addition molecules as shown in the animation. Now let's see the leukocyte. Here in this diagram we can see the leukocyte cell. It has got surface molecules too that act as ligands for endothelial addition molecules. First of all we have the Cyril Lewis X modified protein on leukocyte which is basically the modified PGSL1 protein. Then we have the LFA1 molecule. It's an integrin molecule made up of CD11 and CD18 integrins. We also have VLA4 integrin, glycan1 and CD31 molecules on the surface of leukocytes. Now getting to the process. We know the blood flow in the blood vessel is mostly linear and most of the cells flow at the center of vessel. But the onset of injury, damage or presence of pathogen changes the dynamics of blood rheology. When we have tissue damage or presence of pathogen, the immune system is triggered, which causes release of pro-inflammatory substances in the form of cytokines like interleukins. We also have the release of histamines, prostaglandins and leukotrienes that mediates the chemoattraction process. Now from the release of above immune chemicals, we get the vasodilation. We also have the retraction of endothelial cells by histamine as shown in the animation. As we can see in this animation, the endothelial cells are retracted and open up the gaps. And due to this retraction, the plasma proteins leak out of blood, which disturbs the linear flow. It causes the following things to change. There is change in the viscosity of blood. There is slowing of blood and ultimately the margination of leukocytes is mediated. As we can see, the leukocytes travel towards the walls of blood vessel. And now from here, the rolling addition will start. Here we see leukocyte rolls on the endothelial membrane and tries to make contact with endothelial cells. During this rolling and addition, we can see the CRL Lewis X modified protein of leukocyte interacts and binds with P-selectin protein. And this CRL Lewis X modified protein also can interact and bind with E-selectin. Then from here, we have the tight addition process, in which the leukocyte firmly binds with the endothelial ligands. Here in this animation, we can see the LFA1 protein, that's integrin complex of leukocyte. 
It binds with the IKM1 of endothelial cells, as shown in the animation. Then we have VLA4 integrin of leukocyte. It binds with the VKM1 of endothelial cell. After all these events, the leukocyte cells now tries to migrate towards the target site. And it is by the action of CD31 molecules present on both endothelial cells as well as on leukocytes that mediates the transmigration process. Here between these two cells we can see the homotypic interaction and transmigrates the cells out of blood vessel. And this process is termed as diapedesis. Now from here chemokinase directs the leukocytes towards the target site where it can fix the damage or eliminate the pathogen. So this is how leukocyte extravasation works and the diapedesis process. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.